Let me start with something completely different. Do you know this bottle? You know this bottle? It says on here, Bottiglia Ecosostenible. This is a joke. It's an absolute joke. This bottle is made out of corn, genetically modified corn. This bottle requires genetically modified enzymes to make it, a triple chemical process, and they call this Bottiglia Ecosostenible. This is why we're not getting to a sustainable world, because we're being cheated on all the time. This is a cheat. This is greenwash. And unless we wake up and say, rubbish, get rid of it, how are we going to get to any sustainability in this world? Never. You know, I have to put on a tie and a black suit so I can say this. Because if I wear my shorts and my t-shirt, then they don't listen anymore. We have to realize that if we do more of the same, nothing is going to happen seriously. Are you coming to help me finally? Thank you. Ah, bellissimo. I use my computer, this is a PC, so I'm sorry about it. You have heard a lot of analysis and in 1991, when I wrote the first article on zero emissions, I was considered crazy because it's impossible to have zero emissions. If you don't go to the toilet at least one time per day and do your emissions, you're dead or very sick. The problem is not that we don't have emissions. We must have emissions. The problem is we do nothing with it. Let's look at this beautiful picture of the Foz de Iguaçu, the Iguaçu Falls in Brazil. When I look at the Foz de Iguaçu, I realize no one is unemployed. Everyone is working. This is nice. No elderly people, no home for handicapped, Everyone is contributing to the best of their abilities, and nothing is wasted. And guess what? No extra energy is needed. All energy that is required for the ecosystem to work is generated by the system. We have a problem that the economic model that we were proposing is a model where you pay more, including this bottle, they make you pay more for this plastic bottle made from corn. They make you pay more, so you feel good? What's this all about? Paying more to save some money so you can pay it back is an economic model of the past. It's an economic model for the rich not an economic model for society in crisis. Ecosystems operate completely different. Ecosystems operate on the basis that you can always invest less, generate more revenue, build up social capital, and everyone contributes to their best. Let me give you concrete cases, enough theory. Every project that I'm presenting is a project in which I've been involved and is implemented. And I think it is very important. We need to wake up in all of you, the entrepreneur, il imprenditore, the young heart, the young soul who wants to change things now. Because the situation is so bad that we can't ask anyone to be patient. Paciencia, I don't have. Look at this flue gas from a coal-fired power station in Brazil. Coal is being castigated as being the problem. Coal is not the problem. 
our poor brain that can't think creatively is the problem. Because what we do in Brazil, we take the flue gas, including the 13% CO2, and we produce spirulina algae, spirulina. In order to make it better, we actually inject the flue gas with a vortex, which is only using the law of gravity into the water. So we have a critical distribution of CO2 in the water, so we can generate four times more algae than any is doing at the laboratories here in Italy. I presented this technology to any 12 years ago. They know it. Why don't they do it? If I were to look at the world through the eyes of my son, who you saw, who's now eight months old, when I look at the world through the eyes of a child, I will not accept inaction of companies. I will not accept inaction of politicians. I will take initiatives. 600 jobs have been created solely by taking CO2 out of the air of one carbon, sorry, one coal fire power station. Why is there common myopia, common blindness, and why don't we want to see that the CO2 is ideal for producing spirulina algae? And the spirulina algae you can use to fight malnutrition. These are kits in our program in Brazil, initiated with President Lula da Silva, Fomi Zero, Zero Hunger. And part of the Zero Hunger program was the production of spirulina. Spirulina produced from the CO2 of the coal-fired power stations. Who said coal is a problem? And we have so much spirulina that a third of the production is used as a biofuel. We're converting the lipids into a biofuel, and we have still waste left over, and these are esters. And the polyesters that are produced by the algae's membranes are being used in cosmetics. If I look at a coal-fired power station, I see cash flow first from carbon credits, cash flow from foods, cash flow from biofuels, cash flow from polyesters. And, and who is telling me that coal is a problem? Those who want to pump CO2 in the deep sea and reap off billions of subsidies from the European Union? I don't understand it. What I think is important with this one simple example is that we can go from scarcity to abundance. Now, if we have abundance, we don't need the economists anymore. Economists only survive on the premise that there is scarcity.